Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 6.02 a.m. And this dirty truck is still struggling out here trying to get that money. Uh, even though I've been out here almost, I've been out here 12 hours, I could have had way much more than what I have now. Uh, uh, it's getting hectic out here. They, my five stars dropping is down to 4.82. Uh, these passengers like to complain about just tedious, stupid shit. Now, I had a young lady I had to pick up at an apartment. And a lot of the complaints is coming from because of Uber's GPS. Uh, it had me sitting on the wrong side of the apartment complex. And the young lady started messaging me. But her messages were strange. Talking about she's inside the apartment. We don't pick up inside the apartment. So I went to message her that you need to be outside. But when I hit send, my phone, instead of typing the you need, it auto-corrected it, what it thought it, it, what it thought I was trying to say. And it said, you uneducated, be outside. So then I sent a message behind that saying it was a typo and then put in the correct message. And then this young lady sends another message saying that uh, she's giving me her apartment number. Okay. Where I'm picking you up, your apartment numbers is not on the outside. It's a main address. So why are you now giving me your apartment number? Talking about she's going to be inside. No, you need to be outside. Because I'm dealing with a GPS that did not accurately pull me to where you were in this apartment complex. And that's part of the problem. That their GPS causes a lot of the problems. And you end up with complaints. So... Now, my five star just dropped. The problem is I'm getting writers that saying they're giving me five stars. Now, I was at 4.83 today until somebody, it was either that young lady or the one that got out that was in here bathing in her scented fragrance and shit up in the goddamn car. One of the two sent in a complaint. And this shit is, is deliberate. Uh, Uber attracts passengers that really don't need to be riding in motherfucking Uber. And I'm just going to put it that way. That, that that money that they spending to get in this car to sit up and look at the driver and find something to complain about, it's not worth their ass being in the car. It, it's, it's not. We're getting more and more frivolous ass complaints over stupid shit. Now, if it was the young lady that, that typo, my phone ended up auto-correcting what I was typing. I was typing, you need to be outside, but it put the U N E. And then spelled out educated. It made it look like it said uneducated be outside. Then I put immediately put a uh, typo after that and then put the correct message. But you end up getting complaints because of that shit. Now I put on the damn thing. It was a typo. And I could tell it probably was her because I'm back there talking. Um, and she going, uh -huh. bitch, I ain't got to lie. You understand me? That little money I got off your little short ass trip and the, the hassle to even find you up in here. I'm sitting up here sending you all these fucking 10,000 goddamn text messages. It ain't even worth all that. I should have just canceled the goddamn trip. Had you been outside, had she been outside when I pulled in, maybe I would have saw her because I passed the side she was actually on and ended up on the back side. See, that's what happened. These passengers, these riders has gotten too motherfucking comfortable with ordering up Ubers and they not ready. They in the house, sending you message on my way out, OW, uh, be there, be right there. And then you sitting there more than two minutes, more than five minutes. One address, I sat there 10 minutes. Nobody ever came out. Wasted drive. But they're complaining too much. And my five stars dropping. And all day today, these females been getting in the car, applying fragrant scented scents. Now, I can't stand the smell of those scents. You're in an enclosed car and you inhaling that shit. Rather it smell good or not the shit makes me sick to my stomach because you in here applying a fresh scented fragrance with the fuck it's cold out 
They got their windows up. The back of seat of these cars, of this car, is not your goddamn bedroom. I'm not your motherfucking man. You don't get in here lotioning up, spraying your perfume in this goddamn car. Because you are... I don't want to say being disrespectful, but you're not respecting the car and others that come behind you. You spray that scent in here and that shit get in their clothes. Somebody go home to their wife, think they've been, they smelling some female scent. But the problem with me is I'm sensitive to scents. I'm in an enclosed vehicle, and some of this shit smelled horrible. I had a guy get in here, and I don't know what the fuck he had on. He claimed he didn't have nothing on. And I started gag coughing. I started watering, damn near choking. Don't get in these cars. I'm going to have to put a sign up. I don't know why they do that anyway. You come to an uh, Uber to finish applying your bathing scents that you should have put on before you walked out the goddamn house. If you need to apply additional fragrance, you finna pull up to your man house, get the fuck out the car and put that shit on. Don't put that on in here because that scent is strong and I'm fucking steady inhaling it and now I end up having to let the window down but by that time, now it's turning my fucking stomach. So... The young lady that uh, I ended up sending a typo to, she more than likely was the one to complain. But now Uber's gotten to where I'm not getting messages about why my five star is dropping. And also, I believe it is Uber who has been uh, not allowing my other five stars that I'm getting. Um, it seems like if a passenger give me a five star, Uber will give me a route to go pick up a rider that they somehow know is about to complain. And... My, I don't never get the five star. I had two riders the other day. A pleasant ride. Enjoyed the ride. Was relaxing. Loved the music. Gave me five stars. Two riders. I was at a 4.83. If they five stars had applied, I would be at a 4.85. It didn't. They seem to be letting these negative complaints drop my five star. And making it look like I'm not getting any five stars at all. So now I'm going to have to take this to uh, a higher level because I'm tired of it. Uh, I know Uber was expecting me to call because my five star dropped and they didn't send no kind of messages to why. So I'm going to take this to a step further because I, I'm tired of it. I'm going to have somebody investigate why they're allowing the riders to do this and uh Get them to change, see if they change their policy. If you're going to allow the, the driver's five star to drop, then the driver has the right to see what dropped the star. What was said. You don't get to interpret that. You don't get to keep that from the driver. And you don't get to protect the, the rider by hiding the message and sending some automated message. But yet the driver's five star is dropping and now it's dropping. And I'm not getting no kind of message explaining why it dropped. And all day today, these passengers getting here, the females, want to put their lotion on and all this other shit. He, he, ha, ha. Look, I don't want to smell that shit. I'm not your man. You getting in somebody else's car. You in the fucking back seat. Don't come in here greasing your... I've had people... Clipping toenails, clipping fingernails, putting lotion on their feet in the fucking backseat of the car. All that. They've been doing in this car. Now you touching your goddamn body, greasing your funky feet, and taking your hand and opening the motherfucking door to get the fuck out. And somebody coming behind you sitting back there, touching the goddamn door handle after you just had your hand on your feet. Oh, oh, wait a minute, how about the young couple that it was so dark back there, the male slid over from behind me to over to the 
female back there who was laid back like this with her eyes closed. And all you hear, mm, 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 mm. sound like he was giving some tongue back there. So I flicked the light on on him to let him know, look, ain't, 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 ain't no sex shit going on up in here. All that over kissing shit. Now you do that on the outside of the car. This, this is not your fucking bedroom. But my five stars rating dropper is dropping and I really don't give a fuck. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart to those riders that think they're going to get in here and complain to the Uber about their policy. At this point, I don't give a fuck because I know what type of driver I am. I know what type of ride I'm providing. You are allowing riders to get in here and make these complaints. So they like to play games off of stuff all right. So I posted a inspirational, um, uh, no, I posted a video uh, about getting away from these people that are hell bent on stopping you from elevating yourself or moving forward or being successful in what you're trying to do. And I pick them up every day in this goddamn car. I'm picking up these bastards that are trying to stop me from being an Uber driver. They found out I'm an Uber driver. You attacking me. What the fuck you attacking me for? Okay, what goes around comes around. Somebody going to attack your job. Somebody going to come and do the same shit you've been doing in this fucking car on your job. Somebody going to complain about you. Somebody going to uh, cause uh, some problems for you on your goddamn job. Because you come in here and complain about stupid shit. It was a typo. And I wrote typo after that. Now, why my phone decided at that moment when the GPS had me on the wrong side of the building to autocorrect me typing the word you need as uneducated beats me. A lot of strange shit happened at certain times dealing with Uber. They GPS is part of the problem. Another part of the problem is you change the color of the car from brown to blue. And it's still blue. Now, after I had that incident with the young lady spilt the, the beverage spilt in the car, she tried to turn it into an Uber Eats and send some unattended beverage with food. And it wasted over in the car. And they end up Uber staff end up putting me on the phone with the package. They got a package delivery portion here and uh she gets on the phone how can i help you i see it i see things are not working out for you that's what they keep saying when they get on the phone with me that's what let me know that this five star rating is deliberate and they're behind it and after i had that conversation with her and told her about how the young lady's beverage spilled over in the car all of a sudden i'm just getting all these package deliveries i just had one at general motors over there in hamtramck assembly you're going to order a package delivery pickup doing shift change. And I had to go in the parking lot. I don't go in these parking lots or these goddamn plants unless it's in and out. I know I can get in and out. I don't fuck around with Chrysler. There's only one Ford plant that I know I can get in and out because I used to drive over there and deliver their parts. General Motors, Hamtramck Assembly, any idiot knows you do not try to get a package pickup doing shift change. It was a madhouse in that lot. Kept sending messages, where are you? Then tell me he's at the main entrance. The GPS took me to the wrong entrance. Then when I figured out I'm supposed to be at the, the main entrance where we normally go in at, I don't go past the gate because we have a pickup and drop off for Uber rides on the outside of the gate. But this is supposed to be some package pickup. And I didn't see it was a package pickup. Because those ride, those pickups supposed to come across. Those trips that are pickups for packages are supposed to be labeled different. So I know not to select them. And I didn't know it was a package pickup. till I got close to the ride and I'm looking. I'm picking up a drill. I'm, now you turn them into a parts delivery. I don't do packages. I don't want to pick that shit up. You talking about a piece of machine. I don't know how big that drill was. You talking about putting some plant machinery in the back of this goddamn car. And then I made it there. I'm at the main entrance and he's still texting me. Where are you? I said, I'm arrived. He said, where? And by that time, the, the workers are still getting off. 
and they didn't force me out of the little circle I was in waiting to, waiting for whoever this was and then forced me on back out. Like I'm going back out on the street. So I had to send them a message. It's too much plant traffic. I've been forced out of here. I'm going to have to cancel your ride. Next time, don't try to get a package pickup doing shift change. It's like roaches over there trying to get in and out. I just why I do not do Uber going inside of a fucking plant. You get caught up in that shit. You end up sitting in that shit for minutes. It's not a quick in and out. It took me at least 10 minutes to even get back over to the main entrance from where that GPS had me come in at. It's GPS. It started doing weird shit at weird times. So now I am going to take this to another level. And I'm going to document everything that's been happening and how I have not been receiving my five stars that I've been told that I'm getting. And those passengers that told me that I was getting the five stars were recorded telling me they were giving me five stars. And this was just a couple of days ago. So my five star rating should have still not been at 4.83. It should have been 4.85 because I was verbally told that I got five stars from two passengers. So my five, my, my star rating should have went up instant, but they get on the phone and tell you it's per 200 rides. Well, the last one said per 500 rides, but it seems, but if that was true, a writer that complained right now shouldn't be able to affect my five star rating. But a writer that sends a complaint right now is affecting the five star rating immediately. It's not per 200 rides. Like they say, they've been lying. It is Uber. It is 100% Uber. And they GPS not accurately pulling me up where I need to go, especially when we go into these apartment complex, are causing people to complain. They're confused about the car because they can't get the car color right. But you seem to be dropping my five star and not allowing the five stars that I'm getting. Why is that? And I'm sick of that. I provide five-star service here. But your passengers in here are not five-star worthy passengers. But yet I give them five stars. Even with their funky attitudes. They drunk breath. They, 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 the shit they talk. I had a, a lady in here yesterday going to the casino. Drunk is all outdoors. Talking about my chewing gum. Uh, that's not going to work for me. That, that that gum, you're chewing your gum. Uh, she was having a conversation with me and I'm going, mm-hmm. She said, I, I, I'm that, that, mm-hmm, it's not going to work for me. Look, I don't have to talk to you. Riders need to understand that. I don't, Uber drivers don't have to have a conversation with you. And for uh, the way they complain, we don't need to be talking to you. I get riders in here that I already know. I can tell from when they get in here. They are, com they are complainers. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of Uber dropping my five star immediately. And then if I call and complain about it, they tell me it's per 200 rides. My week just started Friday. Friday. I usually get about 30 trips in in a day. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So 30 trips times four... We should be at, what, 120-something? That's not the daily allowance of trips that's supposed to adjust my five-star rating. You can tell me it's a glitch all you want. It's not a glitch. It's Uber and they personnel. And whoever this is been hacking into the phone, they doing it deliberate because they trying to force me out of Uber. They trying to fix it the way I can't get a rental car. They don't want me making any money. But whatever you do, it's not going to stop my show. Whatever you do, I can be with Uber and I can be not. I would prefer not because I don't want to pick up these motherfuckers. I'm tired of picking them up. Knowing that I'm, 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 I'm riding a complainer in this car. I sense it. The vibe off you. It's immediate. If you had to say something to him, please don't apply any sense in here. It's a complaint. She told me I can't put my perfume on. Who wants to smell that shit? 
You in? A, have you ever been in a room? Somebody just applied some fresh perfume, and you sitting there inhaling that shit. Whether it's a perfume, a scented lotion, or even hand sanitizer, this shit makes you sick on your stomach. Just sitting there inhaling that fucking shit. You're not gonna make me sick while I'm driving this goddamn car. This is what I do to make my fucking money. That perfume you putting on ain't benefiting my motherfucking ass. That's for somebody else to smell. And I don't need you putting it on in this car, making me sick, making my day uncomfortable. Now I gotta ride around here with my stomach feeling all sick and woozy. I'm tired of the complaining. I'm tired of them dropping my five star. And if you think I'm playing, watch what the fuck I do about this shit now.